2023 and on top of the nation tonight we want to continue looking at the highs and lows of the year in the business sector and also ask in detail to an expert what can be done to make 2024 more successful to answer some of these questions in our studios we do have the executive director of the federation of small and medium enterprises john walugembe a very good evening and i want to be the very first person to wish you a happy new year in advance good thank evening. you so much for joining us good evening sandra and thank you for having me here i also would like this opportunity to wish you and our viewers a happy new year well when you look at 2023 in respect to the business sector yes. what has been on a personal basis even before we dive into the entire business sector mm -hmm. what has been your key highlight what has uh, is uh, stood out for you as a business person so uh, i would say that we are seeing some moderate improvements in the in the um, compared to 2022 2021 2020 so at a personal level and as a business person that's what i see but i also see that uh, that uh, ura is really more stringent on businesses because government has taken that decision not to, not to introduce new taxes but simply to increase compliance so most business people are feeling this pinch and it is to be expected now, speaking of my assessment of the year, I would say overall the economy has been resilient. Uh, we saw growth of about 5.2%. That's higher than the four that we had last year and the three that we had in the midst of the COVID-19. So we are seeing some improvements in terms of growth. We are also seeing some growth in the level of exports of the country that has helped us reduce the accounts uh, deficit. Uh, we are also seeing that um, Unfortunately, credit, access to credit is still a challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, inflation has been contained. Headline inflation is now at about 2.6% from the high of about 107 in October 2022. So the central bank has played a, a key role by making sure that it maintains a very tight monetary stance. But also some of the external factors, because most of the inflation that we're experiencing here is imported, so some of the external factors that were driving that, like the global oil prices, the conflict in Ukraine, between Ukraine and Russia, the supply chain disruptions that were caused by the pandemic, those have now started to moderate. So we are basically, we've seen some improvements. That said, from the business perspective, as I mentioned, the tax issue mm -hmm. is still an issue. Uh, that's because government has kept its expenditure up in spite of the difficult conditions we are in. And also you see now, especially in 2023, that some donors are choosing to cut off support for us. So that has created a very difficult um, kind of environment uh, for business people. Well, if you to look at this, this was for our viewers. We can all agree that it yes. was the very first full year for the business sector cool. uh, since COVID nineteen lockdown. Yes. Would you say that you've observed full? You know, businesses are going all in. The challenges are being uh, uh, becoming a thing of the past. Has that? No, they improved? can't be. A cha the challenges still persist, and that's why we are saying that COVID nineteen was not an event. Mm -hmm. The disruptions that they caused. And, and uh, on many businesses still persist yes and that's why you see that some sectors are still struggling like the tourism sector it has experienced some forms of recovery but it's still struggling mm -hmm. but you also see moderate recovery for instance in the manufacturing sector in the services sector you see some growth in the agricultural sector so yes there are some improvements but the challenges still remain if you look at issues of access to cre cre credit which are linked to la the liquidity challenges and cash flow challenges at businesses first at the height of the pandemic these still exist if we look at issues around supply chain uh, disruptions some businesses are still having to pivot to look for new suppliers you know if you look at you know all these things that we talked about the fact that government didn't give us a very generous tax relief package at that point still an existing challenge some of the packages that were put in place to support businesses have not yet been uh, taken advantage of and some of the challenges on the side of businesses some of the changes are on the side of the vehicles that are being used to disperse this fund so i would say the challenges still persist there is improvement we are selling a resilient economy but you know we can't say that the, the challenge is a thing of the past i do like the part where you say we are still a resilient economy yes. well now we can again agree that companies offering digital payment solutions and mobile banking services expanded their reach you know reaching those deeper areas almost undeserved um how do you think
companies or how would you say business businesses this year embraced it and actually used them for the growth of their businesses so we are definitely seeing an interest in the digital economy and we are seeing more businesses uh, do you think it's the way to go it's definitely the way to go but there are some challenges and this year government launched what they call the digital transformation roadmap yes and the roadmap highlighted how it will address some of the key challenges you know these are challenges related to digital infrastructure they are challenges related to skills many ugandans don't know how to use digit they don't have access to gadgets they don't know they don't have the knowledge how to use their phone some have smartphones and they, they are basically using one percent of its functionality and so on and then you have the <coughs> the tax you know on um, data that's still a challenge so we, we, the roadmap has set out these things it's a five-year roadmap and hopefully uh, it will be implemented so that um, some of those things can be addressed but overall we are seeing that there's uptake of digital solutions yes. uh, both on the demand and the supply side uh, we are overall we have about two million social media users now in Uganda, which is a good thing. But it's still a long way to go. If you look at the population now, which is close to 42, take off the young people, the old people, and so on. We still have a long way to go to ensure that there's greater uptake. Now, looking at the global events and how they've affected businesses, I think we see alone we're all in shock when yes. the Ukraine-Russia war actually had a ripple effect Correct. for us back home. Correct. What are the lessons that you thought business businesses needed to pick up uh, immediately? We were hit hard with the ripple effect of this war. First of all, businesses need to understand that Uganda is part of a global economy. Yes. So we need to look at we need to look at our situation vis-a-vis -vis the global economy. I'll give you an illustration. For in, the estimation now by government is that we are going to grow at six percent in the coming year. But globally, there's, there's the global growth is projected to slow down to about 2.9 percent from 3.3 percent. So you see that the global economy is still going through different challenges, yes. in spite of the fact that we are optimistic as a country. So it means that, in spite of the fact that we are positive that things will get better, they might get worse because a lot of things can happen. If you look at, look at the disruption that's happening in the Middle East now, that's something that someone wouldn't have kind of anticipated. So I would say that business people should keep themselves informed they should be able to maintain a risk matrix to know how can these global events affect us. If you look at shipping now through the Red Sea, affecting the cost of goods and services. It's too far, but it's having an impact back home. So businesses should, should appreciate that the global economy has a bearing actually on how the businesses perform back home. Well, briefly talk about the issue of taxation. There's been a lot of talk this year about taxation, mm. but again, mm. also we can speak about challenges, but it's important to talk about solutions. As Correct. we look forward to 2024, mm. how do we position ourselves better to have a brighter 2024? Okay, so businesses, first of all, need to appreciate that they'll pay tax, whether in Uganda or wherever, so tax will always be paid. So it's a, your responsibility as a business to ensure that you manage your tax affairs well. You're informed, you get a tax expert. The challenge with Ugandans that we all think we are experts. We all think we are builders. We all think we are what? So on the We're tax very issue. Entrepreneur in very true, but sometimes you have to admit that yes. you're not an expert in a given thing and look for an expert. So yes. I would urge all businesses to get themselves an expert. Government has been generous, as Avalia mentioned. They've not introduced new tax measures. I think over the last two years, what they are doing is to simply enforce existing measures. So it means if a business person needs to appreciate where that potential liabilities and to ensure that you bridge you fix those going forward to government I would say please once that this revenue is collected please spend it properly because for business people it's a real sacrifice to pay this money so we don't want to hear that someone has gone on holiday someone has bought themselves a brand new car had two billion or whatever no you manage the resources prudently so that business people feel that the money is being managed well but most importantly please ensure that some of these people are cutting off funds that conversation continues because that money those grants are still needed, especially in the social sectors, health and education, to ensure that our economy uh, keeps growing. The thoughts of John Walgembe on the year 2023 in respect to the business perspective. Well, that will be taking us in for a short break, but NTV Weekend Edition will be returning shortly with sports.